I'm willing to go to great lengths sometimes to make a point. When issues grab a hold of me personally, issues of taxes that artists have to pay which are prejudicial, issues of censorship, I get to be a troublemaker. And I'm going to go and I'm going to write letters, I'm going to make phone calls, I'm going to do whatever I can do to possibly alter that situation. And I think artists should do this. I think this is very important. We should all be doing the critique of the world we live in. Images are extremely powerful things. People who are attempting to control a society will try to control those images. Uh, we have to fight against that. I started looking around my house at all the things that were laying around that were uh, ostensibly illegal, from uh, opium poppies to uh, relics from uh, ancient cultures. And I put them all in a piece where the figure is handcuffed, and he's in a lead pipe in the water, and he's saying, arrest me. Go on, I dare you. Landscapes are political. There are things in landscapes which we don't think of today as symbols. The road that moves through the landscape, the touch of a building, the fence, the separating borders, the edges of towns. All of these things combined together give a picture of man's relation to the environment. That's how I see it as being political. The toxic landscapes are more obviously political. That's because I've combined images from nature with images of technology. The painting that I call self-portrait at 59 as a gray wolf is myself a little bit lame, a little bit wounded, kind of lost in a technological background. Uh, as I've seen animals who have wandered into cities. This is the part of the brush you want to paint with. It's the most flexible part. I tell my students that there are four things that are really crucial for an artist. Having to make a living, having the space to work in, and the time. And then there's the psychological part, the isolation we face. I think it's because of the isolation of artists that the society really doesn't understand that artists are people that work very, very hard in order to do what they feel passionate about. We do this because we can't do anything else. This is what we have to do. This is our organic imperative. It's our divine itch.